Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Ricky YT here, and today I want to give like a little tutorial on how to make bots on Rocket League. Not an actual legit bot, but um, you know, just an anti AFK kind of trick. So, basically, what this does, it readies up for you, it makes you jump, it makes you go forward, and um, that's pretty much all it does. So, what you're gonna need is um, auto mouse click by mergy.com and um so how to get this um i'm gonna go ahead and go do it right now you gotta google chrome.com and wow i'm an idiot not <laughs> google chrome.com you gotta google chrome and basically you go to history because i just exited out of it and you go to auto mouse click so i have to get this from a video because recently forgot the website but here it is mergy.com auto mouse click and we're just gonna wait for it to load here there we go it will this will be the application that that's how you know for sure that that's it and um you can pay eight dollars for like to keep it forever but um obviously I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna download it you can download it and then delete it and then download it back and you'll get another free trial but you might you, you honestly don't have to worry about the free trial because it takes a long time for it to ask you for it and you can always decline it so so when you when you download it you'll get the free trial and basically what will pop up will be we try to get the desktop and boom it will be there will be three files you'll get out of mouse click by mergy.com amc mode selector and amc profile manager um which is basically auto amc stands for auto mouse click and um basically you're just gonna click the first one and you'll get this application right here so um what the right click will do is it, it will make you jump left arrow key you're gonna have to go into options and um controls and switch your forward drive to left arrow key um this can obviously be changed to other stuff there's multiple ways to set up your bot but this is how i have my bot and it works just fine um um i'm not i'm not sure if this is like against the rules or anything or if we can get banned for this it's not my fault if you get banned this is only 100 your choice to do or not it's a it's just a tutorial to show you how to do this if you want to do this and yeah so basically how I got these well um you're gonna have to go to one of these you know how to find out where right click is where left arrow key is where um all the clicks and all the arrow keys and everything that I have in the script is then you're gonna click add afterwards if they're not already there then for the um, right arrow clicks and left arrow clicks for the right one you will need to pick a location and it can be anywhere on the Rocket League and you just click it. For a left click it's completely it's completely different because it will make you boost, but not only will it make you boost, it will also ready up the match for you. Um, I'm gonna have to delete state spacebar because I was gonna make it so spacebar readies up, but it actually failed badly and yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. So to test this out we're gonna make a local match, post local lobby, and we'll be they can get one goal to win so let's see one goal so we're gonna make it no bots 2v2 whatever xd one two three yeah This will usually come up after you win a normal match. So, so you're obviously not gonna want to click any of these. You're gonna have to. You're gonna want to set this to this to obviously the spot where ready is. So you're gonna set your crosshair on ready, and um, every time you, every time it click left clicks now, it will not only make you boost, but it will also make you ready up. So, um, how I will be doing this is I will be double clicking. I'll be double clicking right here and holding down the 9 button which will give me negative and for a repeat count you're just going to have to set it to an insanely high number just type random stuff in it um, because if you put set it to negative 1 it will 
and only do it once and it will glitch out and we don't want that um but there's a way to make it go forever until stop but i'm not gonna mess with that right now because it works just fine for me so what it's gonna do is you want to set all those and then obviously that's what that that's how it works so um we're gonna head into a plan nine match um this works best in um in doubles or chaos because double matches obviously there's lots of people playing them you'll get queued fast chaos not really cute you don't really get queued fast but you'll get more teammates to just like help you in the game I, I don't know if that like helps you in any way but i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the script and a way to prevent lag also is by like lowering your settings basically setting the max fps to 30 or something obviously and you can make it windowed and then set it up in a windowed mode where it's like 800 by 600 and it's a tiny screen so your computer or processors don't get like overused because they're going to be on for so long you don't have to worry about all that but that's basically how it is and we'll just finish this match real quick and see if we'll get kicked and usually this is usually again this is for um for new updates i guess you can use it daily if you're not doing anything else and you're just going to sleep or something um, it's a really good way to get crates um i've earned like tons of keys from just farming crates like this of course like of course you could get banned for i'm not sure but um that's basically how it works. It's just a tutorial again, but um, yeah. When doing this, I recommend um, you playing with a friend so you're not screwing some random people over. But <laughs> this guy's giving me a little boost, but um, but I seriously don't recommend doing this alone. Just. Just um, invite a friend with you into the party. You guys can both do it together in two v twos, and or you can do just do this in one v one and hope that other people leave so you can get your loot quick. Because that's basically just all you want the loot for trading and etc. But um, yeah, pretty much that's that's all. Okay, so it looks like we're at this section, so what we need to be doing is, since it wasn't directly on it, we'll be clicking pick, and then choosing pick right here. So when you choose pick right there, it will save the coordinates, coordinates, and it will click there every round from now on. Then what you want to do is click save, and maybe just save it to your, um, your desktop, name it Rocket League AFK Bot. That's what I'm gonna name mine. And boom, you're set to go. You got your bot. Very nice.
nice. And yeah, that's pretty much all it is. So thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there's probably not gonna be that much Rocket League content on this um, this YouTube channel. Um, so yeah might be Rock League streams but um, thanks for stopping by by my channel hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hope it helped you and I hope it gave you the answers to how exactly people AFK bot and I'll see you guys later peace out